Hello everybody, welcome to the Sound Test Room. Today we're going to, um, where are we? Yes, <clears throat> we're going to um, connect Cauldron, Yonak Cauldron Synth, and we're going to control it with uh, Odessa's uh, XY and baseline. So we need three of these. Um, okay, so the thing is now, I'm going to use Cauldron as an AUV3. So I shall set that up first. Excuse me a sec. Fix me levels, you know what I mean? Right, so where are we going? Audio unit extension. I would think it's now the bottom here. Cauldron. <clears throat> Don't need to use the MIDI keyboard with this. So let's just see, we've got some sound. I'll just make sure that my... Uh... That's super. That's super de duper, right? Okay, so we can. Don't forget, you can move this out. Also, as well, I was going to say the full screen. You don't. You select your different various screens here, and full screen will just. the 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 cool thing is with this version of full screen is that it just makes it a little titty tiny. So oh, right, anyway, I'm getting away from myself here. Right. Okay. So. Um, Let's just, we can either move it out of the way, we can just close this sec. And then we're going to set up a baseline here. Uh, do all units. Um, and an Odessa baseline to, 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 so we can, so we can play. So all we need to do with this is go back to the open our channels and just highlight Odessa baseline. Very simple. And then we can go to baseline itself and tap this here and we want to generate. So let's generate something in uh, C minor harmonic. Okay. So that is done there. See? See? And then let's, let's just press play. Let's generate something a bit more melodic, shall we? Just for fun. Make it 16 steps. Right now, let's put in a. <clears throat> so, this is going to be quite a short tutorial, which is sometimes is better. Um, okay, so let me just see. Let's you see. Know, it's auto unit extension. Let us go to Odessa XY. And this is where this gets super, super, super cool. If we open XY and we see here we have this. Let's move that down there. Now this is the this is the beauty of AUM. This is why I love AUM. You can move, you, you've got it all on screen. You can move, a, a, you know, one day if you've got two iPads, you might be able to just, you know, like you can with a computer and a spare monitor, just move it over. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? Right, so we'll open Cauldron now, and let us play that little thing. Now you'll see that nothing happens. Okay. This is because we have to connect our Cauldron to Odessa now, so you can see we've also got an Odessa XY, so we can tap that now. Okie dokie. Okay, now let's play uh, Cauldron. Now, you'll also notice again. does nothing so say for instance okay well i want my i want my my xy to control the resonance and the frequency now of course this is how you you can do it and this is what's great about this go to um preferences here this is i love this is this is fantastically cool 
go to is it MIDI settings is it oh, yeah I think it is so we go to MIDI settings here and we go to MIDI lane okay and we'll go with our frequency here so <clears throat> go with our frequency watch see and then this one now let's go back to our preferences switch off MIDI lane go back to our synth and watch what happens now And there you go, guys. So you can get very creative. You can have as many of them on the screen as will fit on. Uh, you can get very, very creative with where you root your things. And of course, also remember that you can just put another one of these in because it's an AU V3 and you can use as many of these um, things as you actually want. So I could then assign other things to... <clears throat> because I can just go and look at uh, this, let's open it up again, and uh, assign to the next X, Y, all I need to do then is to midi lane the next set. So it's epic, epically cool beans. Okay, guys, uh, thank you for watching. If you liked the video, there'll be links in the description below, and there'll be pop-ups that pop up. It'll take you just to the App Store, so you can check it out. Oh, no, it won't. It'll just open up at the side, so you can have a look. Um, yeah, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, consider becoming a patron and supporting the sound test room. That's very, very, very cool beans and super, super helpful. And I will see you guys later.